So, Samsung has incorporated the S Pen as a distinctive feature in the Galaxy S24 Ultra, setting it apart from the standard Galaxy S24 models. However, users are encountering challenges when using certain cases, particularly those with magnetic attachments designed for MagSafe or the new QI2 wireless charging standard. Early adopters of the Galaxy S24 Ultra and its associated accessories have reported inconsistent functionality of the S Pen with cases featuring magnetic attachment. YouTuber M. Brandon Lee showcased this issue in a video on X, illustrating that attaching a magnetic accessory to the back of the S24 Ultra disrupts the S Pen's responsiveness in the area directly in front of the magnetic field. Notably, the Galaxy S24 series does not inherently support the QI2 charging standard, but cases using magnets, similar to MagSafe, are designed to align the phone with a wireless charger, which is generally beneficial for any phone. Interestingly, users did not report this problem with the Galaxy S23 Ultra last year. However, Samsung has implemented several design changes in the transition to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, including flattening the display edges and introducing titanium frame. It remains uncertain whether these alterations or other undisclosed changes are responsible for the issue. The potential solutions to this problem are yet unclear and it remains to be seen whether accessory manufacturers will need to redesign their products or provide warnings to users about removing magnetic peripherals before using the S Pen. Alex Stanky, a user on X associated with accessory maker Moment, claims they are actively addressing the issue, offering hope for a resolution in the near future. In addition to the S Pen dilemma, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has encountered concerns related to displayed color tones. Early users who received their devices ahead of schedule have taken to Reddit to discuss the problem of washed-out colors. While it is uncertain if this issue is hardware-related, it raises the possibility of potential recalls and discontent among buyers. A comparison between the Galaxy S23 Ultra and Galaxy S24 Ultra on the natural setting shows similar appearances. However, when switched to the Vivid setting, the Galaxy S24 Ultra exhibits minimal change, leading to speculation that this could be a One UI 6.1 issue, exclusive to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It is suggested that One UI 6.1 might lack the appropriate Vivid color profile, resulting in no discernible changes when toggling to this setting. Until Samsung provides an official statement on the matter, speculation remains the only recourse. So, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.